Alright, what is up you guys? And of course always welcome back to another OU battle which is truly Discarinder and to go going up against Jolinko. And uh, yeah, you know patch each other on Reddit, so um, don't know what to expect, but uh, we do have talked before, so I know he is um, at least knowledgeable in the meta, so uh, really really looking forward to what he brings. Ah oh, yes. Ah oh, yes, this is cool. Uh, this is way cool actually. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, this is awesome. Um, so I have a really easy lead and uh, we'll take it from there. Um, so this is you know, somewhat of a Sun team and we see Trevident and I'm pretty sure this is a Citrus Berry variant of it. And then we see Sarud because I'm using Sarud myself and you know, everybody should use Sarud right now. And like openings, I see, I see myself getting swept by Venusaur easily. But besides that, I think we're fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, Groot, think, I think Groot works. And besides that, I feel, um, I just feel overall nervous. Um, oh, also, if you want to battle me, make sure to, of course, write it down in the comments and follow me on Twitter. As I love to battle you guys once we have a chance. And um, I mean, it's not often like we get a chance really shad, and uh, I hopefully in the future I will make some kind of stream to kind of just leveling with you guys how to set up more proper battle as, uh, you know, the blessing that is after all. Uh, <laughs> Reddit has only taken me thus far. Luckily, my opponent here, Jolinko, is, knows exactly what it's all about, and um, the way I see it, I have two options. Um, he has a Gastrodon that could take a bandit choice or head smash, but even with that in mind, I, I, I happily do that, and um, I don't believe I'm faster, actually. Uh, he does decide to withdraw, which I think is fair play. Goes to Trevenant. Oh, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be nice. If I connected, that is. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, Suda Wudo. Look at this. Ah, oh. <laughs> barely cut that one. Barely cut it. Unfortunately, due to Citrus, is gonna get that mastery that is, you know, res I was gonna say residual, but re recovery here. I can't speak. Uh, still, the head smash was magnificent, and I don't care <laughs> about the rest of it. Um, Horn Leech looks to be just about right. Um, mm -hmm. Don't switch in too well versus this, actually. I do like the idea of kind of punishing it. We don't lose too much by... Um, huh. Like, I don't lose too much if, um, let's say now he goes for Horror Leech. But at the same time, he has a very, very, like, easy way of uh, switching into this. And if Venusaur comes in, then it's... <laughs> that's that's my English. <laughs> it's... It's not going to be pleasant. Hmm, he just decided to take a long time to decide of this. I think he thinks I'm faster. That's the only thing that goes through my head. Uh, the sponge lot comes in, getting the electric surge, and um, I want to see if, if it switches out or not. Um, substitute. That's cool. That's cool, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, getting the harvest, and gonna pop the citrus. Um, this is one of the few instances where I really wished I had um, Rocky Helmet, because, um, let's see, could he, he doesn't have a defogger, but he has spinner in circle, um, I think Rise and Voltage break it, let's see, what does Horlich do, it did good damage, Because as long as sunlight is activated, it's it's very hard to break him. And uh, I joked about this before, and you know, here we are again, basically. Um, ah! 
How aggressive do I need to be? I feel he's gonna go for um, a horn leech again, and uh, Tolt can get some really nasty momentum with that extra defense. Substitute. All right, cool. Um, so just really leveling here. But it's nice me stalling out now. Um, I still need to go for Dark Pulse. Like, I want to go for... I really want to go for... Um, <laughs> nasty Plot, but I'd rather force him out. Um, scaring him with how much Horn Leech won't do. But he could be carrying Dream Punch also. Uh, keeps going for Horn Leech, which is good. He's not going to, like, threaten us at all. And it's whether or not he decides to sack play here. Sunlight faded, Harvest is gone. And uh, I have double the speed. I only fear Talonflame, theoretically. Yeah, Dark Pulse is a play. Does it sign to withdraw? It's fair. To Sarud, which absolutely can take a Psychic. Or a Dark Pulse, that is. Um, it looks to be AV. If I was guessing here, but... Um, I mean, he could go for um, a U-turn here. I'll just ask Sarut is very, very chunky. Uh, my easiest play is Rotter just to um, get as much damage in there as possible. Burning Yellow State should, should do good damage. Yeah, that's all right. Let's see, close combat or U-turn? U-turn. Cool. I think we can take it, but we won't. <laughs> so, we both bait in Talonflame. But Sarut is definitely in trouble. If Talonflame comes in, you know, I'm bringing in the heat. Oh, he breaks in Torkoal. Resetting that draught. Um. Uh, I wished, I wish this guy could beat it, but he can't. But Groot is definitely a number one play, I would say. Choice banded head smash is just magnificent. Consider how many turns that went. I'm I'm unsure if it could. I think it's heavy duty boots. I think that makes sense. It, it's not like I'm counting turns here. By the way, I love that Sudowoodo is now a threat. In in theory, I think um, her power could very well take us out. But it's kind of the fun with the set is that you just don't know how to how to behave with this. Right, does the side stay in? Ah, ah, oh, it sucks. Don't get burned now. Jesus Christ, really? We like that. Ah, oh, it sucks. That's like the worst thing that could happen. Right, this side stay in. Connect at least the second one. <laughs> Still do good damage. Rocky helmet. All right, so that's cool. Stealth frogs are here to stay. And um, damn, I really wish I connected that head. That would have made very, very short work on that poor Torkoal. So that really stinks. However, we're still got our, our position here. Plus, we have like sucker punch. This uh, we have some weird stuff that could happen. He still really, really struggles to make a switch in. I'd say Trevenant is probably the easiest switch in he got, but it's mainly due to him getting that free substitute. And you guys get to see how awesome Trevenant still is. Like in Sun Team with Frisk or I mean Citrus Harvest. God damn it! It's actually quite frustrating to switch in and out on. Right, Trevenant is back. Now, not gonna lie, had we made that first head smash, Trevenant would have been threatened by this matchup. Instead, we have some type of joke here. Um, 
I think the worst part is I kind of need to break it. And he's still like faster, so he has all the means. You know what? Half sacking it. We are faster. No! Oh, Jesus, fuck, really? This would have, that would have been so nice if that kind of worked. Like, I'm not mad, I'm just, damn. That was one of those weird openings that I never will get back. <sighs> right? Uh, uh, I'm gonna bring a new cybot. Um, I think I can force it out with just a crunch easily and uh, go for a very, very safe U turn. He should not feeling really, really well about this. Or it could be just hard ass balls and stay in, but I feel my crunch is so obvious that it should switch out. Over predicting in its finest, by the way. Yeah, nice. So, Torkoal, right. So he would have sacked this Pokemon. I feel that's kind of, that's kind of rough. So you said we get a lot of Rocky Helmet damage onto us. Um, what should I do? Could bring in Sponge Lot and actually just go directly for Rise and Voltage. To be honest, I kind of want to go for Spikes, but um, at this point, it feels kind of tough. Rise and Voltage makes more sense. Withdrawal since fair makes sense to Venusaur. That's aggressive. So I think Rise and Voltage should do a whole lot still. <laughs> Bro, you are not. You are not in a position. I give you that. Um, however, he, I mean, he needs to attack, right? And I think Verdictus kind of makes sense here. If anything, just a sack plate. Because this combination should be Sludge Bomb, um, Leaf Storm, Earth Power. Alright, that's cool. So not a Wither Ball. That's Life Orb for you. So right, if I manage to, to chew a hit, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. But Sludge Bomb looks to really, really, really destroy me. Or he could just go directly for an insane Dynamax. We'll see what he decides to do. You know that Dynamax is always lingering, but I think I think I'm range of Sludge Bomb. Uh, he does decide to withdraw, which is fair. To Trevenant. I just want the... Um, oh, that means he'll... Cool. Like, we kind of still lose to Talonflame. Theoretically. But, um... I think he now loses his Torkoal. He can't reset. So, all of a sudden, even though this turns to be a 6-0 loss for me, um, I'm... Feeling Drifling could break through here. I mean, not efficiently, but it's absolutely up there. Um, he has a free substitute with no pressure behind it. So let's see. Let's do the Sarud. Horn Leech or Substitute. Yeah, it makes sense. This turns out to be quite the set. I like it, even though I find it infuriating, but I like it. Sunlight's faded. Didn't get the harvest, which is nice. Little drain disappeared, or it's just like the last... Ah, there we go. <laughs> like, it just might be the last inch of what happens. So, crunch. He gets his free horror leech, and he's gonna do a 
good chunk actually. Now that I think about it, I maybe not be able. I might not be able to actually beat uh, Gastrodon, but I'm, I'm still feeling this. Ah, Willow is cool. So he has all the stops on this. It's not the worst, but with Harvest in mind, I mean, it's it's absolutely troublesome. Let's see. Right, keeps it. Cool. Goes to his own Sarud and um, Stealth Frog's gonna do things. Crunch is gonna do nothing. Yeah, that's nothing for you. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Sarud. I think this is my opening. It's either like I'll lose to Talonflame anyway, but I feel this is my real opening. And to my opponent, like I feel he his Trevenant was definitely something else. Uh, I have a huge respect for Trevenant since last time I battled it, and I just I keep can't get wrap my head around it how efficient that Pokemon really is, and it blows my mind how good it is. I love it. All right, U turns. That's good. We get to keep our Sarud, and we actually get to keep Spongelet, kinda. Um, let's see, what is this switching? Gas we're on, there it is. Kinda, I kinda waited on you, buddy. Left leftovers, kinda effortlessly. Um, if I can, I'm trying to get up my spikes. Let's see. Ah, faster. What a lad. So, right. I think, unfortunately, that... Uh, ah. Have you ever felt that you need to play super aggressive, but just can't get in there? That's where I am right now. Because how many turns off do I got left? Three more turns. I don't want to re like. I want him to feel baited to kill me, so I can just body press and get as much damage as possible in there. Ah, that's good. That's good. You are in range, buddy. You're absolutely in range, and I don't get killed. So um, everybody in their right mind right now feels that the only switching he should have left is his. Um, Trevenant, right? So we make that aggressive play because basically this is the last play I do. Wait, did he stay in? Did he stay in? No, I'm just faster, right? I'm just faster. Don't be dumb now. He switches out. Come on, there's a Trevenant, nice. You are absolutely in range. Yeah, acrobatics. This is cool, three minutes left. <laughs> oh my God, I, I mean, even if I don't score the win here, you know, I got that play right, and quite frankly, versus Talonflame, I absolutely think I can take a hit. Just took me a while to get into this. There's a the Sarud. So the question is whether or not he's gonna do a series of like sack plays right now. Or just basically prolong the switch in for for Channel Flame, which I believe wins the game. There's Torkoal, dies on the switch in, I believe. No! No, cut me some slack already! Oh 
come on Rifflim, like if this if this works then you know it's gonna be magnificent but i am pretty sure unfortunately that talonflame has the means to beat this pokemon and it's just allowing himself to uh or i have no idea actually here's talonflame <sighs> no look at no gale wing no gale wing Oh shit. I mean shit. I have a small voice in my head telling me I should Dynamax. No, he didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a mad lad. How did you come to this battle without? Without heavy duty boots, what happened? I don't care. I don't. This is this is it. This is Rifflim, and there no, he is faster. <laughs> I won't take this one. No way. Oh, oh, oh! That gotta suck for him. Um. I think he wins here. Ah, no! I'm not stalling, by the way. Like, I'm easy, I'm happily giving him this win. I'm happily, like, I do believe his overall HP is better than mine, so just get in the first play there so we get a wrap up. Come on. As close as we can get. There we go. Nice. So, my opponent here, Jelinko, really, really, really good game. I was really, really scared it wouldn't come, like I wouldn't get myself a comeback, but you know, here it is, the weather ball kind of worked through here, and um, I was clearly slower. No, I am adamant, so he is absolutely timid, so that's really cool. Um, I feel really bad, by the way, that we can't get a proper, like he doesn't get the last hit here, he deserved that one. He played this game overall better, his team was way better synergized. But I am very happy that um, I got to pressure him back with a freaking Drift Blim. I mean, come on. Um, and I got the last spice up just once that I mean, Torkoal would not ever set the sand and or the, the sun. And that's really like, that was all the difference between this game. So I am perfectly fine with this loss. Um, it came down to the wire and I think my opponent absolutely deserved that win. So with that said, as always, thank you for watching. And have a great day, everyone.